me here, Ari. Yeah, it's fine. Right. James, thanks for having me this morning at your Baltimore stables. Uh, you're very busy, plenty of horses in, which is good to see, and six winners on the board already this season, which is a good number to have um, because things obviously get very busy from next month onwards. Yeah, sure, Davey. Yeah, we, we're at to get off to an, a nice start, to be fair. Sure, as you say, six winners there before Christmas, and sure. I think the six of them were four year olds, so yeah, no, I can't complain about that now, to be fair. And four of the six were fillies as well, which is nice to have nice fillies. That's right, yeah, I got a good run with the fillies there, to be fair. So yeah, no, um, yeah, two nice fillies, one in Boris, and sure we had um nice filly in Bally Crystal and another one below in Bally Nabula, so yeah, good run with the fillies. And a few bob as well, you got. That's your most important, Davy. I keep still wheels on the bus, so yeah, yeah, grand. Uh, the Gunner Yates, he was very impressive when he won and he's gone now to Willie Mullins. Correct, yeah, won his point of point blowing drum a hand and as you say there, um, gone to Willie's there, um, got sold in the, the Cheltenham Tarsal sale, so yeah, um, gone to a, a good hotel and yeah, hopefully he, he progressed into a very nice horse because we were very keen on him. How are you, buds? Leopardstown as well, so nice to get a winner on the track and not just on the track but at Christmas time as well. Yeah, sure, here is our, it's our first track winner there for myself and Ellen, so yeah, we, we, we took out the track license there in March, Ellen went up and it was COVID times were on top of us that time and sure pointing wasn't happening, so listen, we had a lot of horses and we didn't know whether we were, we were going to have to go tracking with them all or because we did, you know, there was no real light at the end of the tunnel at that stage, we didn't know whether we were going to get back pointing, so yeah, grand for, the, for myself and Ellen there to, to get the the winner on the track over Christmas, and as you say, nice to get in Leperstown. Absolutely, yeah. Ellen's a huge part of the team here. Big, 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 massive, big, massive cog in the, in the team here, to be fair. Sure, listen here, sure here, I do all the outside work to, to a certain level, and to be fair, there's a lot behind the scenes in the office, and, you know, vaccinations and entries, and, you know, all that all that sort of work, and sure, that's mainly her role as well, so I'd rather her at that now than me, so at least it'll be done right, anyway. And Ellen enjoyed that day up in Leperstown, she was there when yeah. Howie you both won, and it was a good maiden hurdle too. It was, to be fair, sure, listen here, you, you, you had all the, the, the big boys there, to be fair, sure, Willie Garden, Henry, sure, they're all there, and sure, listen, it's, it's something that we're not used to, it's sure, our first track winner, and sure, very special to get hit in Leperstown, and sure, it's a bit different from going around the, the Bales of Straw of a, a Sunday, so yeah, special. And he's been sold off the back of that now, and heads to Kerry Bryan in America. That's correct, yeah. I'm um, sure to be fair, listen, he had um he had a couple of nice bumper runs and sure we decided to go back for a pint of pint then and sure he was second in a nice maiden above in Monks Grange. Um Colin Ball beat us with a, a nice moat to your horse and sure to be fair we went to the sales and sure listen, Charlie Carter, the ex Kenny Hurler owned him and sure listen he just didn't um didn't reach the reserve that he he, he was wanting, so we went back to the drawing board and sure was Charlie's idea to run on yeah, the track. Yeah, Charlie's idea, yeah, no, to be fair. And sure, listen here, he, he's had to be in, listen, every step of the horse's way along his life to, to, to now as a four year old or gone five now, but he, he's a homebred and listen, he, he took a, a nice bit of pride in his horse and he was at to, to map out what he wanted to do. And sure, I think he's happy now, and he's at the cashing out as the fellas is. And as you say, he's he's gone to America to, to carry Brian, so. Hopefully he'll have a nice career over there. And everybody knows the story of Kerry with uh, the Mean Queen. You bought her for 8,000 as a store and she uh, bolted up in a point to point in Loch Namor for you. Um, she won a maiden hurdle in Wexford and she's gone over there and won a couple of great ones. So that's, that's right. a great story, isn't it? Ah, uh, sure, Davy, it's brilliant. It's, it's brilliant the way like that she was able to, you know, to start her, 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 her you know, her progression before she went on to, to bigger and better things as as a pint of pinter because you know that's what we're about here. We're we start them all off a young horse by the three olds, get him broken and get him jumping and sure hopefully go to the pint of pine fields and and hopefully uh, do the business and rehome them and hopefully that they, they go on to bigger and better things and, and win races which is most important and it doesn't matter whether they're winning in Ireland, England or America it's just no. it's nice it's to see them winning. It shows that there's great avenues, successful avenues for horses winning point to points that they can go anywhere. Without a doubt, yeah no no it's, it's brilliant and it's, it's nice to have that avenue of uh, going down the American route because like normally they're either going to Ireland or to England like so yeah no it's nice to have that extra avenue to go down you know to be fair and sure it's, it's working which is very important so 10 out of 10 for our connection with Kerry in, in the States and it's good that she's, she's winning lots of big races. Another nice horse that you sold uh, from your stable here who hadn't run didn't need a run you sold him off a bit of work James and Paul Nolan boss Sandor to Killeen who went on then to Punchestown and he, he absolutely yeah sure it, 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 listen, destroyed it, it, it his was the field an, it was a great performance to be fair we, we knew he was good um, but that performance actually is just really put to a, a different level I'd say he's, he's very very impressive now to be fair and I'd say he could be a very nice horse for the future and the boys are very very strong about him so I think um, the Cheltenham bumper could be actually on the card so Hopefully Dublin now. Racing Festival, hopefully yeah, first. Yeah, 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 so hopefully ground comes safe, because it's trained there now at the moment, so hopefully ground is safe from and, and, and they can get that running time before they head, head to the Cheltenham bumper, but yeah, they're, they're, I was talking to him the other day, they're absolutely over the moon about him and think he, he could be a, 
a future star, so to be fair, they're great men for the game, so fair, 10 out of 10 to the two boys. James nice to be able to sell a horse before he run as well, though, off, off a bit of work, isn't it? And that it works as well. Ah, uh, sure, listen, Davey, it's very important, like, when you put your neck on the line and, like, um, stand behind a horse, like, without running. I know, like, when they run and the win or, you know, get placed or whatever, like, you can see that's the horse, but, like, to be able to just put your hand on your heart and say, listen, I think this is a very good horse and recommend the horse and get him then to work out, that's very important because, you know, you're, it's, it's your neck that you're putting on the line and standing yeah. by your horse, you know, so, yeah, I'm delighted to have worked out because the boys are only over the road and if we did happen to, to bump into them in the local there we'd get a bit of slagging if we didn't work out but thank god anyway this one worked out anyway good so and no doubt he's going to have a bright future um james since i was here last um you've added a new gallop to your facility so okay. now you have a sand gallop and run alongside it then you have a carpet gallop that's something that um you wouldn't see too often with point to point handler so yeah, tell sure. us a little bit about that sure, i suppose it's a couple of years now since you're here and i wasn't i suppose it's in about a year and a half or that so yeah Listen, we have the deep Wexford sand gallop. It's, it's listen, it's a simple little gallop. It's only about three furlongs. So to be fair, when them youngsters get fit, you know, you know, it's not nice to be going out and just facing into grinding through sand every day. So we decided to go for maybe an easier surface and just maybe an easy day of freshening up or getting close to a run. You know, just that you want them, you know, in, the, in, the, in their their best order going into a race. So we just decided to go and put in an easier gallop. So and a scrand. They're youngsters, they have to know how to put their legs in front of one another as well and suppose you can just, you know, go on a straight hard run and just put a little bit of speed in them as well. So, yeah, that's, that's sort of the way we opted for the carpet gallop, Davey. Good. Big uh, hint, a big hint in England, actually. I was in a few yards in England now and there's a lot of carpet gallops over there, so I just said, listen, why not? So, And probably, there's probably a longer lifespan on it than wood chip. So, if, you know, if you had a wood chip with the weather, Irish weather, plenty of rain, it'd probably break down a bit quicker, so... In fairness, I don't think we'll have to be topping a hop running as often as wood chips. So that's, that's good. good for that. uh, looking at your team of horse on the gallops this morning and school and nice bunch of four year olds. Not a huge number of them this year. No, we um, listen. Just going back to Cova as well. Sure, we had a lot of horses like that were going to be carried over to the falls. So to be fair, you know, you'd have to be thinking about getting all them, you know, moved on or whatever. So we probably went back a little bit. So I'd say we've only about 24 or 25 this year. Probably with 30 for the falls. So that that was a lot of. A lot of heads looking out over the doors to have to to, to to move on, so we just said we'd stay up a little bit, so we don't have as many as. A couple of as nice fillies there. I seen a masked marvel, um, yeah, Sean's a Sean's filly. filly. So if you're to throw one to me, you mightn't give me a name, but give me a sire anyway. Is there one standout for yeah. you that might start early? Um, well, I'll tell you when you're when you're actually uh, touching the fillies there now. To be fair, that um, Shamsalisa filly there, she's a half cedar, sister Cedarwood Road now, and um, yeah, she looks very nice there. She's taking all the boxes, good attitude for the job. Um, so probably when the, the little filly division kicks off now, she'll probably be our, our first filly here. But she's one, and I have a nice blue Brazil horse there. And the blue trill is his name. He's only named last week, and he looks a very smart sort as well. And sure here, blue Brazil is having a good old time with there Absolutely. lately. So yeah, Constitution Hill and that. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's a nice sire to, to look forward to too as well, to be fair, if you could get your hands on a few of them. Uh, the one standout horse for me was a walk in the park horse. He's a five-year-old. My God, this is a fine specimen. <laughs> I think if you want to save it, your, your eyes are working anyway. But um, If I couldn't spot this, that would uh, be well, something sure, wrong. You should give up that job if you could pick him out. But yeah, listen, he's um, he wants he's wanted to seemingly tick all the boxes. Um, I'm very keen on him. Uh, tall horse. Uh, well, it wasn't going to push him to get him out as a four-year-old. Um, so... Yeah, I, I'd probably run him there in the next six or seven weeks. Um, fine, fine horse. Uh, does everything right. Good attitude. Jumps, gallops. But I'd say he's very, very special, to be fair. Now, there's a lot of nice horses that have gone through this yard in the last few years and whatever. But this, I'd say, is the top. This is the one, is it? This is the one, Davey, I'd say. Now. And Come on, then. Put everyone out of our misery, James. What's his name? Um, His name. Oh, he's surely named. Um, His name is the man driving Duvan. So, what a name. What a name. So write him in the book there. So. Hopefully, we'll see him in the next few weeks on the point field. Yeah, and so hopefully we'll see and him, him in the future. We'll yeah, I think he's, I think he's very special. So, right, fair yeah. play to you, and fair play to your honesty. Appreciate it. Um, good to be, good to be here. Good to see you, and very best luck for the rest of the season. David, thanks for having you. Fair play.